forgot to bring it up before about Substack. So Elon actually accused them of stealing Twitter data. What do and, you mean? and that was part of his justification for um, blocking them. How did they steal Twitter data? So, I mean, th that's a very strong word that he used. And I don't know the de all the details, but, but what, what I know is that – so Substack is largely powered by Twitter's API, which means, you know, API, application programming interface. It's basically, a, you know, a, de a developer – tool set so that websites can integrate with API, Twitter, API, you know, you see log in with Facebook, log in with Twitter, mm -hmm. you have tweets embedded yes. in, in Substack, like the, the, the API is how you facilitate that. And Twitter, you know, has been uh, locking down its API because it's been, quite frankly, probably costing them millions of dollars because, you know, when, when Substack makes an API call to Twitter, that costs Twitter money. So Elon's perspective is, okay, we're hemorrhaging money. I'm, I'm speculating. I don't want to speak, put words into his mouth. But I think that he's locking down the API because it's costing them so much money to be supporting all these websites that aren't paying them. Right. So, you know, Substack, the authentication and sign up uses Twitter. The social graph and recommendations uses Twitter. So Elon's tweet said that you know, they've been trying, they've, they've basically been abusing our API to bootstrap their own social network. And because Substack just came out with a social feed called Notes. Right. And how does that work? It's pro it's just a news feed. Can you show me that? I want to see what it looks like. What uh, Substack Notes. Because I just heard about this. And I don't, I don't want to stain this table. I just, oh, it's good to stain coffee. it. Right, good. It's good. It gives it life. This is a relatively new table. The old one we had, the old studio was covered in stains. Uh, introducing Substack notes, unlocking the, unlocking the power of the subscription network. And so what is this? So th is there's a like? screenshot down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to sign in. No, just do continue. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So it's just a newsfeed. So it looks exactly like Twitter. Right. Literally. It has a heart, it has comments and it has uh, some sort of a repost, but it's not a square. It's a circle. Um, it's basically a copy of Twitter. Just like uh, the Truth Social Network is, right? Yeah, and so so to to dig into that a little deeper, like so you know Mark Andreessen, mm -hmm. love brilliant dude. guy. I love that dude. I mean, he's super. Uh, yeah, he, he's he's one of the most legendary tech investors of all time. He's so smart. and he's so smart. And so he is a he owns I I don't know what percentage of Substack, but Andreessen Horowitz is one of Substack's primary mm. funders. Okay, um, and. Andreessen Horowitz also put hundreds of million into the Twitter deal. So there's a and Elon and, and Andreessen are, are probably super tight. And so what's happening in in um, in another tweet, Elon had someone had said you should buy Substack, and Elon responded, "Yeah, maybe I will." And this was like two months ago. Mm -hmm. And so they've been pursuing. It seems as though they've been in negotiation for Twitter really? to actually buy Substack. I mean, Elon said it. And he's also super tight with Mark Andreessen. And so probably Substack thinks it has a certain valuation. Elon wants to get it for less and was trying to say, listen, you are reliant on us. Right. You're We're helping you grow. And then I'm thinking about buying you. And I'm thinking about buying you. It's costing me more money the more time that you're doing this. So what I'm going to do is cut off your API access and show yeah. you who's daddy. Ooh. Right. <laughs> So, I mean, who knows? Because I don't think that... Just speculation. I, I don't think that he wa like, was out this to censor. And unfortunately, Elon has successfully enraged both mainstream and now independent journalists, which is not... I, I don't think he intended for that to happen, but that's what happened. I mean, the, all the Substack journal, you know, that's one of the best places for independent journalism. Yeah. And now they're all pissed because, you know, there was a period of time where their businesses were screwed Well, up. not only that, it was the very people that were using Twitter to put out these Twitter these Twitter pages. So there were all the emails that showed the collusion between the intelligence agencies and the former heads of Twitter. You know, like this was the same guys and they were publishing this. Yeah, and like they all thought they were friends. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, as soon as the bunny got involved, you know, that's where things get weird, right? Yeah, and so I think it kind of is a, a, a corporate um, negotiation byproduct it mm. seems like that's kind of what happened because I, I i don't think that he intentionally wants to to hurt those, those what guys. i like about elon is he will change course 
if he doesn't, if people respond in a negative way, they don't like it, they get upset. He's like, okay, we won't do that. And he's publicly said that he would do that. And I like mm-hmm. that he does do that. He just, he's flexible in that regard. And he's not, he's not t- completely dogmatic about these ideas. Yeah. He's like doing it live. Yeah, he really is. <laughs> yeah. 